In Microsoft R, there's a lot of players and not enough caves to fit them. So how do owners fix that? They make custom caves by placing unbreakable mannequins in cave entrances to make bad caves good. And one day I was talking to Covert and he said something along the lines of, what if we just make our own custom cave? And then I had an idea. What if we built in a fake custom cave? We'll put mannequins either vertically or horizontally to block off one entrance of a cave, making it have one attack point. So what cave will I custom? I'm going very risky to Valgaro Dropdown. This cave is normally used as a passageway to the underworld of Valor, so there will be lots of players here all the time. And to top it all off, I'll be a solo on a trio server. <laughs> hey everybody, uh, I'm going to be attempting to do something pretty different. I'm going to try to make a fake custom cave as explained in the intro. I haven't heard of anyone else do this or, you know even think about it on this server there is no rule explicitly saying you cannot have a fake custom cave but i would not be surprised whatsoever if i just you know randomly got banned it is cheesy it's cheeky but you know it's for the content it's for the fellas back home probably going melee bob which i should start doing now That is a low hundred. A low hundred on the server was pretty easy and quick, and I went over to this white drop to try to grab it, but there was two people there. I accidentally picked the wrong guy, slammed him into the ground. Picked him again, slammed him again. Thought the other guy was this guy, you know, so I had to show him these hands. And uh, I had the wrong guy. Anyways, I went to Tame a Maywing before I went over to Valgaro, and when I went out to get metal, I ran into something interesting. Now, this fight will literally take so long, I'm going to put a timer on screen. This guy bullets my PT out of the air, whips my bullets. Whoa, what the fuck? Instantly, whip God whips me out of the air again. This guy is fucking whip God. I have a weird feeling it's good to cheat him. So I C spin him into the water, and he whips me out. Oh, he is cheating. That, uh, uh, there's no way. Eventually, my PT knocks out. This guy's trying to bullet fight me, and every time I take my bullets out, he pulls his whip out to whip my bullets. And that's not all. This guy decides to be an even bigger coward to run into the water. I say, come out. And he says, wham, wham, wham. I am now completely locked in on this fight and will not advert my attention until he's dead. Eventually, I land a bullet on this guy, and I'm just fucking, I'm just laying in, dog. Just take a listen. There's no way! However, it was not enough. Our battle led into the water. I was trying to grapple this guy. The grapples aren't working. <laughs> oh my god. I let it like hello? Our grapples just hit it And he broke my boots. This is bad news if I get bullet. And he tries running from me. But we're nine minutes in. He hits this absolutely bogus bullet on me. And I whip his cutter. Absolutely brilliant. And while I'm in the paint, bore him! A little pre-kill laugh for the orc. Chop the boots off, chop the helmet off, and this fella is cooked. Good night, pal. 10 minute fight. Was it worth it? No. Anyways, I got the metal, picked it up, got a saddle, and with the extra resources I had for the mailing saddle, I made bear traps, and they came in very handy. Put the bear traps in hot bar. Feeling a little devious today. When I was coming off island, there was a mailing guy at a purple drop. And then he billboarded my middle. And then he ate a bullet. And then I lagged bullet. How did that hit him? While I had him bullet though, I got picked by a random PT guy. This guy would kind of clutch up later on. I'm kind of getting messed up here. My boots get broken and he picks him away. And then I repay the favor by uh... This guy was loaded. I need to get out of here. Looks like that guy had a lot of loot. So I wanted to get out on my mailing. And this guy was about to knock my mailing out. But then he. Good night. Good night. Good night. Put a billboard. After I single handedly reinvented the Arc Windows 10 meta, I decided to get some resources over on Island, and then I went to Aberration to get some resources on there. I headed over to Genesis 2 to tame a Spino, where I would then take that Spino to Luna. And I did one run through of the Reaper mission and got like 12k electronics. Up to this point, I also still didn't have a base, so I went and I looked around Lunar. 
put a starter base down, a ton of forges, and I made two pill boxes. I then left the starter base for one hour so I could let metal cook, so I could then make two pill boxes and put one on each side of the fake mannequin custom. And fellas, the loot started to deliver itself. Good night. Oh, 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 oh my god. That guy had most of the loot I needed to build my base up. Now I just needed kits. Are you fucking stupid or something? But this was not the end. I found more people out of yellow drop, found it to drop, billboarded this guy's melee, so he was forced to fight me. Little behind the tree switcheroo, ain't nobody ever seen that before. Chopped them a bit. I want that job, didn't I? Movie beat. Now that I got some killing out of the way, it was time to be productive. But soon after I began building my mannequin wall, I would be given another loot delivery. Those I was playing. I middled up the pillbox on the outside, but the two guys that had died of my turrets would not leave me alone. The mail char who lost way less loot was flying around my base scouting it for a good 10 minutes, probably making a ticket. But I quickly ran into the issue where I could not place more than 39 mannequins, making this wipe a waste, and I would have to restart. So the next day, I hopped on. I grinded up a bloodstalker and a sword and jitted this fella out of drop. Then I grinded up a base, but when I went to put it down, I got bugged out of the border and lost 300 slots of loot. I made a ticket for an admin to come and get it, and in the meantime, I still had my Desmo in my will. I found this fella farming electronics on a Rex in 2024. Hey, 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 hey. Let's be simple. Picked him again, got one with again, and again. And again. Then I was getting a little scared, uh, possibly cheating, but I guess we'll never know because you got packed. Oh, yeah. Eventually, the admin recon me way more stuff than I had. Holy fucking shit! I gotta take this. But with all that loot on me, I found another guy. I killed him, built the base, went to bed, woke up the next morning ready to kill. Headed over to Val, and we weren't off to a good start. This demon bullied me not once. But two times, I managed to whip his pump luckily, and then he ran away. So I went and used that pump at another fight. And this fight I then got into will be one of the weirdest and worst fights I've ever had. Me and this guy who was running around a yellow drop on a therry got stuck in this pit. And I'm just pumping this guy, just no reg after, no reg after, no reg. Like, what the? He whipped my good pump. He whips my second pump. I'm spamming E! This guy just literally whipped all of my fucking items and I'm being bit by a goddamn man. I'm shielding, right? And this guy literally bowls me through the shield. He tries to get out, but I whip his crossy. And this is the turning point in the fight, because this guy can't get out. I get my pump back. Dude, can this mana suck my fucking dick? I can't move. This guy almost gets my pump. Really scary. He really almost did. And then I'm just able to jiggle peek down on him. And this took so long. I'm fucking white screen. He's dead. Jesus Christ, dude. One million, hundred million, quindillion pump shots later, the fuck dog shit folds. Jesus Christ. What is this game? What are you doing? Just pumped through a 20,000 durability shield. I'm done. Are you lagging or is this me? Bro, server, please come back. Wait, I hit something. I bought him. Oh, good night. I'm pumped. Flipped a little bad after that one, but the murder spree did not stop there. I went over to this purple drop and this bloodstalker guy. No. I thought he would run away after I missed the one net, but it turns out not. One second, I'm chilling. The next second, I'm picked, this game? bullet, netted, cranked, knocked out, naked. But whilst I'm bullet, this guy can't hit a shot to save his goddamn life. You guys nervous? He's nervous? I'm doing it. Eventually, I get out of the bullet and head with a little quick two. Out of the bullet, it chokes, but he jumped. He jumped. What a fool. Cool. 
after my murder spree, it was time to be productive again. So I went over to Crystal Isles and I died to this random ass cave, this terrible little pillbox, and this guy who had a four heavy turret outside in the middle of bum diddly do fuck nowhere is online and on an Argentavis and gets the fattest kit of his life. Needless to say, I quit this wipe. But what did we learn? Building somewhere too contested would get too many people on my back and it just wouldn't be possible. And it would also have to be small enough to fit a 39 mannequin limit. So where's this one golden spot? Well, it's right off the coast of Southwest 3 on Ragnarok. This is where I grew up on Ark, so this is one of my favorite baseballs. At the top, we'll put a layer of mannequins and then on top of that layer of mannequins, we'll put a force field so when players buy glass the mannequins, they won't be able to see that they're placed by us and not other players. This time, I also will not be alone. I'll be joined by uh, uh what's his name and covert oh bugs up, bugs up, bugs up. since we've already done this startup thing once this video i'll fly through this i killed the parasaur for hide so i can make a hide set also so i can make a pt saddle knocked out a pt uh yeah put the little saddle on it flew over to the spy drop got it equipped it by glass the spino was a 135 we we're gonna use this spino to go down into the underworld and do whatever and then uh well i had stuff crafting up there was this yellow drop in the distance so i went over i grabbed it it was a 500 uh dura flat booby p Chuck that John up into death, uh, you know, the things on the thing. And then I hopped off the PT, I shot the thing, and then it knocked out in one shot, just like that. Oh my god, what a flawless transition, Danny. Fed it some meat, oh my gosh, carted it on up, got a saddle for it by getting some silica pearls. You know, a little devious grind up time, found a 145 Reaper, like, built up a little trap, trapped that Jonathan, threw out the spino, started whacking that motherfucker, quick, equipped the shield. Uh, it got me pregnant. What time to wipe is it, dude? 48 minutes of Reaper and Preg. I had one Reaper and then I had another one. The second one was a health one. And while I was crying, my PT heading out, yeah. this little devious fella behind me thought he was going to pull a slick one on me. So I quit my thing, go for a little pixie, miss it. And then it turns out my whip was never even out. Chuck that John out, whipped that fool, bullied him, cut his head off ate him put some stuff in the data transferred off on a genesis i took the spino i had and i grinded up the reaper mission so i could get a bunch of scrap metal a bunch of oil and a bunch of electronics and i'm telling you fellas i grinded this not for very long but it was a lot of loot with all that stuff on me i decided to head over to extinction to get a little new running so i could get level 100 and i was taking absolutely no chances so i was doing it on the back of my spinosaurus i stopped midway through to get some argentavius i was you know whipping up some fiber and whatnot and then when i was about to transfer out once i had level 100 I saw a fella at the transferring thing, so I was like, I, I'm away from the crowd. I wait behind this pole, he successfully crowds, I get up on my hind legs, run over, smack that motherfucker, smack him again, smack him again, smack him again, smack him one last time, and he's out. Good night. Oh my god, little fat fella. Bunch of loot on him, man. Yeah, two white drops, mailing, hella fiber. And in the time I had gotten all this loot, Covert Combat got a flak helmet, flak boots, and a monkey. So I had to bust my boy up, and then I had to leave for about an hour. And when I came back, I spawned in at Southwest 1, and we would have our first fight together the white. What am I naming our tribe? Brickers. As you can see, my friend Cover's trying to fight this guy on foot, and this fella won't get off his main wing, so we billboard him, pop the spine. Cover bowl is <laughs> drag him out with my tail. I'm with empty cryo. He's out, he's out, he's on your tail, he's on your tail, he's on your tail. The madman. Get another mantis, a mantis egg. <laughs> and the one thing I asked Covert to do before I left was place a bunch of forges. The fuck? This guy said forges. He placed the better part of 10 forges. Yeah, I, I remember vividly um, when um, I was on Steam and I liked the split stack and you were like... So, you know, no surprise, I had to do that too. And then uh, trouble was stirring around the corner, so, you know, I had to chop fella up. You get him, JC! He was absolutely loaded. I also did an absolutely fatty flint run. And then when I was coming home to depot it, I got picked by a PT. Got him. And Covert was getting down to business as well. Oh! Oh, Over God, time, the starter base was starting to progress, and we had three or four forges. I found this AFK guy to drop, and he was juiced. Oh my god, he's fat. 10 C4. And then we decided to do rag boss early on to wipe. Got the LE, crafted a rep, and then I needed to get level 120. So I went to do so on extinction on the back of my Reaper. Once I was there, one thing turned to another, and me and Cobra started to do an OSD. Now, once we completed this OSD, an extraordinarily skilled player shot me in the head 15 times in a row. But before that could happen, Covert had the 100 million quintillion IQ idea to transfer all into my Reaper. So we got away with a- Oh, 230 shot BP. 30, 230. What the fuck?
What the fuck? Now with all of our loot in line, I began to prefab our base. Crafted turrets, a jenny, mannequins, a cliff plat for the mannequins. And then while I was oh, building the loot? potentially illegal fake custom cave, the admin teleported over to give us our recomp kits. So I quickly, you know, had a pickup shop type shit, came up with a little excuse. He gave us two fat recomp kits. And I also decided to ask if he could recomp us for the OSD since we technically completed it before we My got spun. Me. And he said, yeah, for sure. He gave us four blueprints of our choice. We chose a leg, a long neck, a helmet, 535 helm, 184 long neck. Oh my god. <laughs> and a mega chalon bp oh my god 59 he went away i put the gen down and we began construction on our fake custom cave once again you have a down already yeah yeah just get a few turrets of it with the lavish stuff so if you do want to replicate this for yourself it's actually pretty easy you're going to want to line yourself up with the ladder go into alt mode and then yeah she plays we actually went over limit a little bit so we had to do these stone foundies Ooh. Fellas, we're in fucking business. What are we naming this cave? I think we get to name it. I actually never came up with the name. Y'all should like, you know, comment below. The next 20 or so minutes really just consisted of us moving into the base, putting the force field down, and building up the wall, which wasn't too difficult. This is going to be great. I can imagine the wall full of the... Epic transition. Also, the force field turned on, and we were selling it perfectly. But that's enough PvE! It's time to go to Valgaro, and we're laying the ops out. Kill this shit. Got here. He's C4 shot me. Is that it? No board it is. Yeah, literally 5064. 15064, are they duping? Yeah. Black chest, 288. Oh my god. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. Oh my god! Good night! Got here, got here, got here, got here! Billboard, 200. Oh shit. I think she's big. I'm gonna pump him in the head. I'm immune to whip, she doesn't know it. No legs. Good night. Oh my fuck. Oh! Oh, fuck with you, 320! Oh my god, Ramshackle! Like, I didn't even look at it, dude. That's how much I think care about it. Nerd it. Cause, like, Very good. Oh, pump, no legs. Just no reg, just legs. Sick. Flesh. Probably would've died. Killed them. Yep, he would've. It's the same move guy from earlier. Black helmet, BP. Oh my god, speed cheating lightning wyvern! Jesus fucking Christ. What's this guy's name? Titanic Swim B. Oh my god, did I just get a spike glass on his player? This guy talk with the speed cheats off real quick. <laughs> Netted it. Oh my god, that would have been the coolest fucking clip in arc. He picked the other guy. He landed, he landed, he landed. Let him wipe, let him pop him up. Oh my god. I think I killed him too. He was mid breath. Yeah, he's dead, he's dead. I think. Yeah, big body mail shot right here. Oh, in the water, in the water, in the water. It's him. This is the cheater. Dead. Is it the cheater? Fuck. I'm oh. fighting Matthew, bro. Yeah, one moment. Got get naked. Nice. I fucking. No, what the fuck? He's on. Living. I didn't see him living. Let's go gambling! Aw, oh, dang it! Aw, oh, dang it! I killed. Oh my god, there's more guys over here. I got him off of me. Holy shit.
No way, you're a cheater. I need to clip that. He missed all three. Okay, drive bullet. So close, so close, so close. When we came back from Valgaro, we had accumulated an entire flat set worth of BPs. But in order to craft these BPs, we would need metal. And luckily, we had a magma storm maturing, so we headed over to Aberration to get a fat little metal run done. And fellas, we farmed like crazy. And while I was farming, Casey was out jitting the ops. Wow. Two, one, sir. Oh, he's, oh, he's, he's dead. dead. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. Oh, and he got a fat metal run and a fat kit at the same time for doing no work. What a guy. When I got home, I got to work on paste and especially gunpowder because we had like no ammo in our turrets. <coughs> we were beginning to get some visitors, so I was getting a little nervous. And I guess this means people were actually believing that this was a real custom cave. So I filled the turrets up a little bit and that marks the end of our day one. I'm freaking mad nervous right now. We're loading in on day two. Oh my god. Premier Lion, not rated. Not rated, not rated. Oh my god. The flip was going on out here. How did you fail rate this base? You know, man. Alright, so that's actually quite the wake up call. I think I'm gonna spend the next little bit just upgrading this wall. Putting more ammo in turrets, uh, getting more turrets, because we actually have a lot of metal that cooked overnight. I hope. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yuppie, 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 yuppie. Shouts to Casey for this. This is just wonderful. Oh, all the meat should have cooked as well. Yep, that's mad nice. That'll be plenty of focal chili and everything. So I have a ton of turrets on me. I just don't really know where it is. I want to put them. I'd have to test if something like that would actually shoot. It does not shoot. Oh, this actually does work. What the fuck? Wait, that's actually so useful. Imagine we're getting raided and they have all these entrances pinned down and we just TP straight up the base. I'm gonna put some internals down. Like, dude, I'm not really seeing many places where there is not tarts. It's kind of cool, dude, because I used to build here when I was a Bob, and now we're like full building it with tech and shit. Dude, it's mad cool. I'm really hoping we get a raid defense. Bunch of spam outside now. Not going to put any parrots outside because we're actually getting some visitors. Construction has been partially complete. I would say this is phase one and it's now done. We have to get rid of this stone flooring that Mr. Door Duration put down. Little devious fella. Uh, ammo count is looking absolutely uh, wonderful. All the turrets are actually capped. Did some astro spam so the ops can't, you know, push spam easy. Now that the base was partially complete, it was time to start taking advantage of what the day two changes had to offer. I headed out to get some good wyvern eggs. Why is my mailing not flying? It's not flying. It's out of stam! My mailing is out of stam! Oh my god. Goodbye. In the next lifetime, my friend. And then I went over to theater so I could get some Desmos, but what was supposed to be a 5 minute taming session turned into a 10 minute fight, and a 15 minute fight, and finally... He died! Let's go! Get fucked! And at this point, it was about 20 minutes since anyone had been at base, and when I loaded in... I heard the babies. Aww. No, they're on players only. Parts are shooting. Oh. Sorry, what the fuck? We're like fully soaked. Get my reaper out of data. Get my reaper out of data. These guys had a reaper at our wall and it was completely soaked. But I knew my reaper would be better because of the OSD. You remember, it didn't die at the OSD. So it was crazily low. Cover in the fabricators is a fucking shit ton of, um, a shit ton of ARV. Cover began refilling turrets and the tables began to turn. One die, one die, one die, one die. Cool, try to get that. It's right there. I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. I got TP'd outside. Did you get it? I won. Nice, nice, nice. Two guys outside, two guys outside. Grab, grab, grab. Grab one. This guy, no legs, no legs, no legs. Oh, maybe he's dead, oh, maybe he's dead. Stop one. 
Oh. Nice, nice, nice. Lagging. No boots. Poop on. Poop on twice. Three times. No boots on the sky. Dead, 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 dead. Take it, take it, take it. I won that 30 times. Kill him on the Guy in the water, guy in the water, guy in the water. In water. No way, dude! Hey, I have a slug cap of loot! <laughs> well, get fucking pack washed. What the fuck? Right after this raid defense, morale was obviously high. We went out looking for the people who raided us, and we believe they live in Desert Crack, so we paid them a visit. I hope you fellas enjoyed. I'm sorry for the wait in between uploads, and thank you all very much for your support on this channel. I'm Drew there on YouTube, and you're a good guy, and I'll catch you later.